Well, y'all, I did a thing. Stay tuned and see what I have done. I'm excited. Here's my thing I said I had done. I bought me a new house. And this is my adorable little porch. I am so excited. Finally, God got this for me. I just closed today. It's my new home. People that own this house, though, I think lived in fear a lot because they have all of these bars on every window and every door, security locks and everything. Well, I don't want to live in a feeling like prison for me because that's what it feels like to me. So the um, the, the door will stay, but the uh, all these bars on the windows are going to go. But as you can see, I have a bay window. It's so cute. Cute. And let's go inside. All right. I'm at the front door. It's not as big as what I'm used to. It's a lot smaller. Hi, guys. Anyway, I just came back from closing. And first one here, got contractors coming because we're going to do a lot of improvements to this house. I can hardly wait to show you all the stuff we're going to do. I'm going to start having a... Uh, series on how I'm improving this house, updating it. This house is solid. It is amazing. It just needs some updating. So I'm just going to take you through. And I have this beautiful back patio. My backyard is not as big as what I have now. So you can see through the window. But it is uh, got some wonderful features that's going to work amazing for me. I am so, so excited. So let's go into the kitchen. It is an authentic kitchen from the 1950s. This house was built in 1958. That door is the garage door. That's actually a pantry, but we're going to put a door there outside because we need an exit for there for certain reasons. We'll get to later. Old appliances. Um, the microwave has some problems, so we're just going to dump it. The inspector found that, but you can see all these really old cabinets. I mean, they're sufficient, but guess what? I'm going to be putting in a brand new kitchen. I am so excited, and this wall is going to be removed. We're going to open it up. Got a lot of plans. You guys are going to have to really stay tuned to see what's going to be. I have a new chandelier that's going to go in. I am so thrilled. So there's the hall. Let's go down the hall. We have a coat closet right here, which is going to be, it's deep and it's big. And actually, I'm going to end up putting in here a stacked washer and dryer for me. And that's just a laundry chute that I don't need. We're going to get rid of that. And here is the hall bathroom. And I'm going to bring it up to date. It's a not a bad bathroom, but I think there's some improvements to be brought up to the 20th century instead of the 1950s. And I think we're going to thoroughly enjoy it. And here's the bathtub. It was originally that mint green, and they have painted it years past, and it's peeling off. So things are going to change on that as well. But it's a neat little bathroom. It's going to have some changes, and I think it's going to be really neat. And it's an old-fashioned pocket door, which I love having pocket doors. They don't swing out in the room so much. So cool. It's got Wayne's coating, which I want to use. And we're going to change them up also. And it has another nice deep linen closet that I'll be using for whatever I need to store in it. And in this room, it is sold as the master bedroom. But guess what, guys? 
This is Julie's Boutique. <laughs> I am so thrilled about this. But I'm also going to be taking a corner of it. We're going to be taking this closet right here and part of this room. And we're going to put a half bath in, a three-quarter bath in here for me. So I don't have to use the hall. That's another project coming. And yes, I am going to be taking the smaller bedroom as my bedroom. But I don't need a big space. I'm downsizing to just a full-size bed. And I have my nightstand and my high boy. And for what I need, this is what I need because I need more room in the other room for storage. And so the house is clean. It just is so nice. There's my closet. So this is my upstairs living space that I am going to be really enjoying making fun stuff with. I'm going to be doing some different things with the mirrors over here. Um, I'm going to be putting a fake fireplace and some bookcases on that wall, but I may utilize some of the mirrors. If not, they're coming down for what I really am wanting to do. So isn't this exciting? Next, I will be taking us downstairs to see what needs to be done down there. Um, I can show you what this is in the kitchen and I'm going to lose this because like I said, we're going to put a door in here, but it's just literally, it's even got <laughs> spices and I think that's, uh, baking grease and some spices in here already, <laughs> but, uh, and then here is the garage. It's got the security door even on the garage and, uh, got a light trigger so that when you open the door the light turns on now this is a small garage we won't be parking any cars in here it's gonna be storage actually it's gonna be storage of my husband's stuff that I just I can't bear to get rid of at this time in my life so that's all right it's things that people can use so whoop, I have my first guests at the door there's my doorbell <laughs> my sister my sister has arrived I'll show you the basement Later. All right, I am now going down the stairs. My family and my contractor is here. And so my kids are running around having a great time. But this is the family room. It smells hot in here. Green light. Down here with a fireplace. Kids are playing. It smells hot down here. Hang on right, a second, so guys. We are here checking out this. This is the laundry room, and she's thinking it. Yeah, we know what it, we know all about that. Yeah, we have. It is condensation, basically, because there's outside. Out? No, it's not really a mold. Outside, up where the ground meets up there is pulled away, and water has been allowed to come down through the years, creating a con. Yeah, well, it's kind of it's seeped through the 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 concrete, and the inspector told me that it was more of a condensation type of thing. It's not anything to be worried about, but we need to seal up outside to make it stop this. So that's one of the things we have to do. So now you guys got an education of what's going on here. Got the grandkids running around and playing. Nope, that's me. We got a bar right here, and it's a, a wet bar. Check out this. Saloon doors, you know. And there is some plumbing issues, and uh, it's going to be uh, being addressed here before too long. And got an old-fashioned light. Sorry you can't hear me because the grandkids are so loud. Not so loud, please. Now we'll come down here, and here is the powder room bathroom down here and we're gonna be doing some serious changing in here a little bit we're gonna probably keep a lot of the blue but um, it's uh, got the shower in there it's not huge but it's big enough for anything we need the toilet has been leaking so the carpet is wet we're getting rid of the carpet anyway but it's just the fact that these are <laughs> Things that has to happen in these old tile style houses. I want to go in there next. Oh. You have to show video on this. And what am I supposed to show a video on? Oh, everybody is just so funny right now. <laughs> and so this is the red room. 
It would be beautiful, I suppose, in a hotel, or as my sister-in-law calls it, the brothel room. It's the brothel room. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is going to be my sister-in-law Barb's room. And it's got this nice size closet in here with those shelves, which is nice. And then it's a double door closet here, cedar lined. Isn't that really very nice? So we'll be replacing the carpet in here with... Um, the carpet that's upstairs in the living room because I want hardwood floors. I don't want carpet. And so this is really nice here. This room here is just a nice closet, storage closet. And then this room is the furnace and water heater room. It's a brand new furnace. It's only a year old. Water heater, we're going to replace it with on demand, the tankless. This is already an old one, and no, the inspector I says, it's nothing wrong with it, per se, but it is old, and we shouldn't wait for it to go out. Just go ahead and take the time now to do it. Right before you Okay, hey, 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 enough. No. Now, we have this room over here. Pool table came with the house, so I'm going to be selling it, because none of us want it or need it. And the lights to go with it above it. And, uh, whoops, I guess those aren't the lights for that. I'm not sure where those lights are. Maybe they're over here. There they are. So anyway, this is gonna be up for sale. But this room is my son's bedroom. And we have plans to give him his own bathroom right here. And right above it, upstairs, is where I'm gonna put my own bathroom in my storage area. So, and then we'll close up this wall right here so he has his privacy and put a door in. So this is the tour, the tour on my house here. I think it's really a very beautiful home. It needs work, it needs updating, but I think it's gonna be really nice when we get done. I'm excited. I closed on it today and we're going to make something really beautiful out of this. <laughs> Grandchildren, aren't they fun? There's something about an empty house that kids just love. Ow. Yeah, you can do anything in it. I know it. Nothing to hurt. You have a great time. <laughs> There's so much fun. So, do we go up the stairs? And there's even a railing light, and it's not on at the moment, but there is a railing light. And you go up the stairs, and we are uh, in the kitchen, in the dining room. So, got to show it all. It's great fun. Those ones are mine. Hit the wall, buddy. Hit the wall. Hit the wall. Go hit the wall. That was a wuss. Can I try? Ah, uh, come on, hit the wall, hit the wall. Not the wood. Where I hit was the wood. Harder. Yay! There you go, Papa would be so proud of you. Yes, he is. He's proud of you so much right now. Now look at the carpet. Oh, well. It's not yeah, like stays. <laughs> I can see Papa. Just, there's a, a stud behind that. Yeah, right there's your wood. It's called a stud. Okay. It's. Can I try again? Can I try again? Can I try again? Oh, good swing! It might be. I need the Pringles. coming down. You're doing a good job. Papa's so proud of you. I mean, Papa is like 
He is right there swinging that with you. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All right. There we go. Some more. Come over to a little bit closer. To, you're hitting the where. Right here. You're hitting the one. She's trying. Right there. Hard. Hard. Hit it again. Hit it again. Go. Keep going. You got it. Uh, here's the wall. Keep going. No more. That is awesome. You know what? I need to bring Kerrigan home over here after work and let him help you tear out stuff. After school, I mean, you know. This is awesome. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Got some bars off the windows over on that side. Yeah. Wrong area. No, not wrong area. Well, guys, I know I haven't been on for a long time. I just haven't had anything to tell you. And I just didn't want to do another just chit chat. So here I am showing you the highlights of what my new house looks like. And I am so looking forward to all the projects we're getting ready to do. My grandson helped rip out a wall today. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. I have a lot of projects ahead, and hopefully we can start making a really nice video more consistently now. Life is about to change for the good for me. I have another about three weeks, and I have to be out of the house I'm currently living in, which is where I am right now. I'm home. We've already been messing with the other house and I've come home and I thought oh I forgot to do an ending at the new house so I'm doing this one here and I've got boxes everywhere and just stuff all over house is a wreck in this one and so you know I mean I can show you a quick little look at it see I have boxes everywhere just piled there is truly nothing <laughs> nice <laughs> sorry about how the house looks in here it's just packing it all up and there was just nothing to show you so here it is and now we're gonna start working on projects on what we're gonna do so stay tuned and follow me and see what you find interesting I hope it'll be a lot of fun for us so thanks for watching, guys. You take care, and God bless. And hey, I'm going to start saying it. Happy decorating again. <laughs> take care, guys. Bye. Till I show you something else again later. Take care.